Hey there, I'm Sven Falk, a guitar teacher located near Frankfurt, Germany. And today I'm going to give you some tips about the hand you use to strum chords when you are playing the guitar. So maybe you are a beginner and you already know how to grab chords properly, but still when you play the guitar it doesn't sound right. So these tips might be helpful for you. All the content I demonstrate in this video you can download on my Patreon page. You'll find the link in the description. There are four areas when talking about the strum hand and I will give you a short overview. One, you need to decide if you want to strum the guitar with a plectron or just with your fingers. Two, you need to know about the two axes of strumming. Three, you need to strum and don't sweep. And four, you need to learn how to use your hand like a pendulum. Let's decide if you want to strum the guitar with your fingers or with a plectron. And I will not give a recommendation because you need to find out yourself if you want to strum the guitar with your fingers or with a plectron and you need to check out which sound you like more. So go ahead and play some chords with a plectron or without a plectron and find out which sound you like more. So if you choose a plectron to strum the guitar, you need to know how to hold that plectron right. So take the plectron put it between your thumb and your index finger and let the tip of the plectrum point into the direction of your strings. Like this. Then don't hold the plectrum too tight because then the sound of the chord will be very hard. Like this. And that's just very loud but not very musical. So loosen the grip a little bit so that the plectron can move while it touches the strings and then you will have good sound. And also don't hold it too loose because then you will lose it and it will fall on the floor. If you choose to strum your guitar with your fingers there are many different techniques you could use like percussive style or flamenco but I will give you a very easy technique. Take your index finger and your thumb and put them together as if you would hold the plectrum between them, like this. And then you try to hit the strings with the fingernails of those two fingers. So when you are doing a downstroke, you try to hit the strings with the fingernail of your index finger, like this. And if you are doing an upstroke, you try to hit the strings with your thumbnail, like this. Let's get to the second point and talk about the two axes of strumming. You have two axes on your guitar and depending on where you hit your guitar on those axes, you get a different sound. So let's check that out. So one axis is the one on your fretboard. And depending on where you hit the guitar on that axis, you get a soft sound or a hard sound. For example, if you strum the guitar over the fretboard on the left side of the sound hole, get a very soft sound. And if you hit the guitar on the bridge, like on the right side of the sound hole, you get a very hard sound. So if you are a beginner, just start to play the guitar over the sound hole like this. Because that's the usual guitar sound. The second axis is the one that is vertical to the one on the fretboard. So this one. And if you want to hit the right position on this axis, it is important that you know which strings you want to hit. What I mean with that is depending on the chord you are playing, you always try to aim for different strings. And that would always be the middle two strings of the chord. For example, if you play an E major chord, you should try to aim for the D and for the G string. The reason is, if you not thinking about aiming for any strings, it is very probable that you hit the highest E string and your chord sounds something like this. So you just hear low strings. And the same is when you're doing upstrokes, you are very probable to hit the lowest E string, like this. And then you have the opposite, you just hear the high strings. So you should aim for the middle two strings in this case for D and G, so that you get all the strings. 
because if you are strumming and you aim for the middle two strings, you hit the other strings anyway, but you get a better sound. Let's try another chord to give you another example. If you play A minor, you should try to avoid to hit the upper E string and you should aim for the G string, which would be the middle string in this case. And as a third chord, let's take D major, because if you are playing D major, you try to hit the lowest four strings. And in this case, I would recommend to aim for the G and the B string. The next issue about strumming is that you want to strum your guitar and not to sweep your guitar. What I mean with that is that Beginners tend to strum guitars like this. So they strum very slow and that sounds like every string is hit one after the other. But you want to strum the guitar in a way that the strings are hit at the same time. So think more of an impulse than of a sweep like this. So the moment when you hit the strings should be a very quick one. So that all the strings you want to strum are strummed at the same time. And the last thing about strumming is that you should think of your strum hand as a pendulum. So when you strum the guitar, your hand is always swinging up and down in the same pace. It's pausing for a short amount of time at the lowest and highest point. And the point where you hit your guitar is the quickest. Now we will do some exercises. With the first one we will try to aim for the right strings. And with the second one we try to practice the impulsive strumming. Let's start with aiming for the right strings. We take an E minor chord and then we just do in down and up strokes and try to aim for the D and the G strings. Then we take an A minor chord and try to aim for the G string. And the last chord is D major, and there we try to aim for the G and the B string. You can stop this video now and practice those three chords as often as you want. With the next exercise we want to practice impulsive strumming. So we start with down strokes, and remember, no sweeping but impulsive strumming. So you play the minor chord and try to hit the strings very quick. Now we do the same with up strokes and same idea, no sweeping, just impulsive strumming. And as a third exercise, we try to combine down and up strokes, and again, no sweeping, just impulsive strumming. Let me repeat quickly what I talked about today. We talked about the strum hand, and the first issue about the strumming hand is that you should decide if you want to play with the plectron or with your fingers. The second thing you need to be aware of are the two axes of strumming. So you have the axis 
on the fretboard. If you strum the strings closer to the fretboard, the sound is softer. If you strum the strings closer to the bridge, the sound of the strings is harder. And then you have the axis vertical to the fretboard, and that is important to aim for the right strings. The third point was that you should strum your guitar and don't sweep. That means you should hit your guitar with a quick impulse and not with a slow sweep. And the last point was that you should think of your strum hand as a pendulum. Thank you very much for watching the video and if you liked it, give me some thumbs up. If you have any other ideas or thoughts about this topic, write it down in the comments. And if you liked the video very much, feel free to subscribe to this channel. Next week I'm going to release a video about rhythm basics, so don't miss that one out. And don't forget, learning an instrument is like forming a new limp. You need to integrate that limp into your everyday life to get better, to know how to use it better. So don't stop practicing, don't stop to get better. And with this being said, see you soon.